Thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Uh, I would like to thank uh, also Andrus Ansip, member of the European Parliament and the European Internet Forum for inviting me and Orange to participate to this uh, event today. I'm especially honored uh, to be speaking with uh, Mr. Andrus uh, Ansip and Lorena uh, from the European Commission and members of the uh, EIF as we share, I believe, uh, a common value to make Europe a world leader in information and communication technology, including, of course, the capacity to have um, digital ID solutions that I will try to give you, I would say, some hints on our vision on what could be done. Orange, uh, our purpose is to connect our 256 million customers with digital devices and services, not only mobile, but mostly mobile. Uh, and our guiding principles has always been to build trust of our brand in the 26 markets we are operating in worldwide, uh, Europe and Africa and Middle East. I'm here today to share our vision on a common global standard on digital identification called Secure Application for Mobile that has been uh, started to be developed by the GSM Association uh, with mobile operators. That is an expansion of what we start doing with SIM and eSIM. And we believe that, that can be fuel, fueling the uh, growth of opportunities for European citizens to access secure mobile digital services and contribute to the EU digital sovereignty. And for us, this is one of the extremely important elements that is, was just described right before. We are convinced that um, the digital world that we are entering more and more, that we are using more and more, will need, and I will say needs, not only will, but needs a digital identity solution. And I would be more explicit, digital identities framework. As it was mentioned, it can be public and private. And the question is, what pro proposition solutions can be done? We believe also that the smartphone will be at the core of this evolution, as it is now for most of our services. And interestingly, the mobile industry has developed an existing solution, the SIM, that you are all using. This SIM is evolving to an eSIM solution, which will be stored in your device, sorted, so you cannot remove it anymore. And this eSIM, which is already starting to be used on, on recent phones and smartphones from Apple and Samsung are all, is also usable on your cellular watches, for instance. This SIM, what it is? It is a safe in which one mobile operator can store its secret to enter its network. An eSIM is a SIM and with another characteristic, which is that I can store more than one operator in it and having its secrets stored side by side to the different operators in the same secure element, which is called now an eSIM. And gradually, when you start pulling the string, you understand very quickly that you can start making this eSIM evolving to something a bit new, very largely more, more broader than just the telecom and mobile industry to say, instead of having mobile operators side by side, we could imagine that we could have secrets or credentials from various vertical sectors side by side. And this, is, this evolution is developed by the GSMA in which Orange is taking a, a, a strong place and trying to develop this solution. And this solution is called a SAM, Secured Applications for Mobile. Today, as it was mentioned by Oliver right before, and also Andres and Lorena, there is a risk of fragmentation. As our society is becoming increasingly digitalized, identity solutions remain fragmented in an increasing number of players, sometimes dominant, with their own proprietary solutions, as it was just rightly said before. And there is a real risk that for EU players to lose ground on the development of secure mobile identity services where we believe we have a leadership to gain and to remain and to keep. There is also a risk of dependence of member states on identification systems not defined by the EU. To keep sovereignty of member states, we need a neutral solution from all the players 
to avoid a dominant position on digital identity management that could be managed by non-European entities. One of the elements I wanted to explain before could be typically your public digital identity, and today this is typically done in passport and digital ID, and this is under the responsibility of member states, and we believe that should, re that should remain under the responsibility of member states, and such a proposition and such a solution allows it to make it happen. So how do we plan to solve this? And I'm ready to open up for questions, of course. Uh, we believe that the revision of the IDAS is now at a timely point to implement and deploy this ambitious open standard on a digital identity solution and boost the European digital market. Orange, together with our partners and the GSMA, which represents the interest of mobile network operators worldwide, have developed this open standard called SAM, Secure, Secured Applications for Mobile, for short, uh, which is able to bring any EIDAS digital identity solution into a smartphone. It's an open solution to securely host sensitive data in the hardware element, and the hardware element is called a secure element of a smartphone, like the SIM card is a secure element. It is this very sensitive elements, very sensitive elements can be securely stored in it, like your SIM card for your smartphone or your credit card for your bank account, which is using exactly the same type of technology, or your new passport for the people who have this electronic passport elements on your passport, which is using also the same type of digital, sorry, hardware secure element with NFC coupled with an NFC solution when you need to have it. And so all your elements are stored in exactly the same type of secure element. And we believe this could be fitting in one single secure element in your mobile tomorrow, but we need to have a framework that will allow all these things to work the right way to avoid the dominance of a single player. This bank vault, it's, this SAM, is like a bank vault or a safe for digital identity storage, which is free from dependency on specific actors and under the control of EU law and values. And it's even not under the control of the operators, of course. That's something which is much broader than us. But there is more to this standard that meets UBI. The safe is a safe of safes, where each digital identity element is stored in its own cryptographic little safe, which is isolated from the other safes. Remember the eSIM with the different mobile operators side by side, it's the same concept, but instead of having different mobile operators, you will have your credentials for your operator or operators, your credentials for your bank, your credentials for your transport, your credentials for your digital public ID as a citizen. If you want to vote, if you want to be, if you want to know if you have 18 years old to buy the bottle of whiskey that Lorena was mentioning earlier on. This solution is user friendly and easily allowing only the end user to manage their SAM based identities for enrollment, installation, and deletion ensuring data protection and privacy in line, with, in line with GDPR, as it was mentioned and done by the European Commission. This proposition aims at offering a hosting solution allowing the deployment of EIDI services on mobile in an interoperable way and accessible to any accredited services provider, government or private, as it was mentioned right before, using only standardized open interfaces and secure digital certificates. The standard build with Europe in mind is developed with multiple private practical sectors, such as banking, transportation, and even government, should they wish to use it, who have their own prerogative on identity provided to the citizen to their country, as I was mentioning right before. There is no intention that mobile operators are managing such a solution for all the vertical sectors at all. We are taking care of our own, and that's enough. But we have in our hands a digital solution that matches all the needs of the vertical sectors that can be interested in an adequate configuration. In order to make this framework possible, the safe of safes, we need to ensure that the management of a key of a big safe is safe and is not controlled by one single operator or one single actor in the, in the industry. So that we need a framework and Europe can build this framework 
as we need a regional solution, at least by re region, I mean Europe, as we cannot rely on a single country to develop this as we are facing the smartphone industry, which is global. Without a European view, we will miss the scale needed to get the support of big mobile industry players. As Europe led GSM and the development of mobile, and it set the scenes on GDPR, at Orange, we believe our, our Europe can make a difference on such solutions as well, setting up the appropriate framework to make it a reality. Using and promoting open standards, following European requirements as EIDAS revision will allow us to do, we have a unique opportunity to define the right future of digital identity and identities of our future lives. This open standard should be led by Europe, for Europe at least, and to the benefit of our 27 member states and likely to expand worldwide afterwards, as we did for previous solutions. Adopting an open standard approach for digital identification on mobile will not only accelerate the digitalization of Europe, but it will bring also four advantages to Europe as paper-based identities dematerialized, this will encourage the growth of digital citizenship, as in Estonia, uh, as access to public services will be driven by more mobility and greater access to innovative services, also from public private sector as well. EU citizens will be able to leverage the potential of their digital economy with increased trust and services in a growing digital world with great security. Cyber security defenses with certified security solutions will meet the expectations of nation, national and European public authorities, which in turn increases great, greater trust. And finally, digital sovereignty on identification will give Europe a first time lead to deploy its services without dependency on services and specific actors with closed solutions that pose a risk of EU digital sovereignty. So we need to be strong inside Europe uh, and we do hope to be able to, con to contribute to it. If we are to convince the rest of the world that Europe is right, to be going to, to be going down this path. So this plan cannot start tomorrow. We believe that it uh, tomorrow will be too late already. Uh, next year, definitely new actors and actors will have already started things and will have already uh, been going ahead. So we need to start today with a bold plan to create a Europe first for mobile digital identification. And we believe that Sam is very likely one of the solutions described by Oliver before that could help us reaching that goal. So Sam is independent from any type of actor and puts privacy compliant and user friendliness by design at the forefront on all the smartphones in the European Union and hopefully worldwide afterwards. In a world changing innovation that will make Europe a world leader in digital identification free from dominant actors. Where trust is paramount, we must be open where privacy is needed, we must enforce it, and Europe can lead the way on digital identity using open standard technology proposed by Orange and GSMA with all the vertical actors supporting this common goal. Secured applications for mobile must be driven by Europe for Europe to bring Europe even closer together as we begin our journey to bring a safe and secure digital identification solution on mobile for use in the European single market. Thank you very much. Thank you.